Hey my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing something a little bit different. I love my skincare as much as I love my makeup, but I don't really tend to make a lot of skincare related videos on my channel because skincare is something that's really subjective and something that's really personal. So something that works for me might not work for you and vice versa. So I get very scared when I'm recommending a skincare product because what if I swear by that product, but when you try that product out because of my recommendation, it breaks you out. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I refrain from doing skincare related videos. But having said that skincare is something that you really need to do your research on and go through a lot of reviews and not just rely on one person and take opinion from different people at least that's what i do so yeah don't just blindly trust people when it comes to skincare because skincare is a different ball game altogether it's not like makeup so yeah whenever you do want to invest in some kind of a skincare product make sure that you do your own research as well as look for different opinions that was a very big disclaimer but anywho so for today's video i decided to switch things up a little bit and bring forward some skincare related content for you guys so yeah in today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys some skincare ingredients that you should be avoiding in your skincare products i mean don't get me wrong there are plethora of ingredients that is used to make a particular skincare product and if i sit here talking about those ingredients that you should be um, avoiding in your skincare it's just gonna get too overwhelming for you guys so i'm just going to be talking about the generic ingredients that you should be avoiding and which i feel like is present in a lot of skincare ingredients and hopefully if you are someone who is like beginner in skincare i think you need to watch this video before you invest onto your next skincare product so yeah, without any further ado let's get started with the video okay so i'm only going to be talking about three ingredients so this might be a very short video but yeah <laughs> so the first ingredient that i'm going to be talking about is alcohol now before i talk about alcohol uh, not all alcohol present in your skincare is bad for your skin so there's good alcohol also known as fatty alcohol that's used in a skincare product to help moisturize your skin create a protective barrier on your skin so that your skin doesn't lose any moisture and they're mostly used for its antibacterial properties as well so those type of alcohol is really good for your skin and is really good if it's found in a skincare item but the one that i'm talking about in this video are the ones that dry out your face those are the type of alcohols that's really bad for your skin so alcohol is used in skincare to give your products that quick drying finish and it often tends to give your your face a very matte look and that's the reason why you'll see alcohol in products made specially for oily skin type because if you are someone who's got an oily skin type you obviously love that you know matte finish on your skin that's the reason why oily skin people are tempted to use such products so in case if you are someone who uses a certain skincare and you see that it instantly gives you a matte finish make sure you check the ingredient because most likely it might contain alcohol in also it. alcohol can damage the skin's protective surface and it can also suck all the moisture from your skin leaving your skin feeling really dry and dehydrated according to a lot of research it has also come forward that prolonged use of alcohol in your skincare can cause increase in bumps on your face and also enlarged pores we all don't want that so <laughs> Also no. using skincare products that has alcohol in it, initially it might give you that matte finish that people like us who've got extremely oily skin, we absolutely love that. But trust me, it is only going to trigger your skin to produce more oil because what happens is when you apply any kind of skincare product that has alcohol in it, it uh, sucks out all the moisture from your skin, which triggers your skin to produce more oil because your skin thinks that it's dehydrated. That's the reason why it produces more more oils to keep your skin moisturized and hydrated so hence it is quite counterproductive you apply alcohol based product on your face to give you a matte finish but in return it's only going to make you even more oily so i don't see a use of using alcohol just saying just saying okay so the second product that i'm going to be talking about today is going to be sodium laurel sulfate also known as sls so sls 
are basically cleaning agent that is used in majority of your cleaning and personal related care products just like face wash soaps shampoo basically anything that foams up has sls in it because it has the ability to break down oil and grease from the surface so sls is derived both naturally from natural sources like a coconut and palm kernel oil and it is also manufactured in labs. so like mentioned earlier it is used mainly in cleaning products or you know personal care related products this ingredient gives your skincare product that foaming action or that lather action whatever you want to call so if you have used a face wash that lathers really well once you are done washing your face and once you wipe the water down i don't know if you guys have felt this but your skin feels very dehydrated so sls is known to cause irritation in your skin and your eyes it can also trigger some really serious skin issues like skin rash eczema psoriasis dermatitis and these are the kind of skin irritation that will stay with you on forever psoriasis and eczema is something that you can't really get rid of you can definitely get those things in control because of medication but it's not something that's gonna go away so if you don't want those kind of skin irritation or issues on your skin please stop using products that have any kind of sls last but definitely not the least is a skincare ingredient that i absolutely hate in my skincare products and i'm sure you guys can tell by now it is the one and only fragrance fragrance by far has to be my most hated skincare ingredient in a skincare like i hate fragrances in my skincare i've said this time and time again i do not do not like skincare that has fragrances in it so there's a lot of debate that goes around fragrances in your skincare some people say it's completely fine some people absolutely hate fragrances in their skincare like i do i hate them so i feel like fragrance is something that there's no in between it's either you're on this side or you're on fragrances that side. are very sensitizing to your skin and can irritate your skin especially if you are someone who's got sensitive skin it will irritate your skin quite a lot also fragrance is something that doesn't really have any kind of benefit being in a skincare product other than the fact to make your skincare product smell nice i mean i would have still understood if it had any kind of benefits being in there but if it doesn't then why even use it also fragrances that's used in your skincare products can be artificial or even natural such as the essential oils so a lot of times skincare company are very smart and they label their skincare products as being fragrance free but they use essential oil which is also a natural form of fragrance which like we spoke about earlier also irritates your skin so I don't know what the deal with companies are but just because a skincare product has essential oils in it and claims to be fragrance free that doesn't mean it's actually fragrance free just to be clear okay speaking about fragrances i'm going to give you a little fun fact according to fda a company can get away labeling all the scents that they use in a skincare product under one category that is fragrance so just because on the ingredient list you see fragrance that doesn't necessarily mean that there is only one type of fragrance in your skincare product it could be one it could be two it could be three it could be more than that so the more fragrances that they use in a skincare the more irritating it is to your skin so yeah say no to fragrances in your skincare okay linda okay okay so there you go guys those were all the basic skincare ingredients that you should be avoiding in a skincare routine let me know in the comments down below in case if you like this video and let me know in the comments down below in case if you guys want me to make part two of this video i'll be more than happy to do that so yeah i think that's that for this video i'm gonna take a leave now and i'm gonna be seeing you guys in my next video so bye my loves Mwah.